Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use variables in SQL. So here's the syntax for using variables. So first you have to declare a variable. So we can just do declare add and here you can put your variable name. So I'm just going to call it my variable var and then you have to define the data type. So in this example, I'm just going to do like an integer and then I can also declare another variable at my variable 2 and this time it's just a character length of length 2 so let's say if we are querying this table i'm just going to query one of our sample tables here from adventure works database so i'm going to do select all from human resources dot and let's just query employee table and click on execute we have about 290 rows. So let's say if I want to filter it out based on the vacation hours or sick hours or gender or anything, um, I can just do it in the query itself. So I can put where vacation hours is greater than 50. So I just want to see like how many employees have vacation hours more than 50. So simple query. So I have 147. And then if I want to see how many have more than 60, I can do 60 here. 117 so we can do the same here by using variables instead of this hard-coded value so we have already declared our variables so let's just assign it a value so we can assign values to variables by doing the set function so we can do set at my variable one equals and, and i'm just going to call it 50. so in the vacation hours, instead of doing like hard coding a value, we can just do greater than at my variable. And it's gonna do the same thing as putting 50 there. So we have all of the employees here where the vacation hours is more than 50. And we can also have one more filter here for gender. So let's say our variable two, we can set our gender here. So my variable two can store the value for gender so here i can just do and marital status equals at my variable two and i'm gonna execute it now so it's gonna filter out all the employees where the vacation hours is more than 50 in this case and the marital status is m for married so we use variables all the time if you want to reuse our code and especially in like reporting or using store procedures we are going to be passing variable values all the time so it's going to be different every time so in order to reuse our code and automate it we make use of variables let me know if you guys have any questions and thank you for watching